I'm gonna need a spotter to help me out on this episode of The Gear Guide. You know, the biggest issue with stock sniper rifles is the performance out of the box. I mean, come on, it's a sniper rifle. It's supposed to hit hard and shoot far, but sadly, most companies only really max out at like 400 feet per second on a 0.2 gram BB. Well, Airsoft GI is changing that with their pre-upgraded G-Series sniper rifles, and there's so much under the hood to talk about. Starting with the base VSR-11, they immediately strip out all the guts and work to build their G700 rifle. From a 601 millimeter inner barrel all the way to a beefy spring and things like a reinforced sear, piston, and some other parts to handle all that power, they put over $200 of professionally installed parts under the hood of this rifle to get it up to snuff. And by doing that, you save a ton of money so you don't end up with an expensive rifle and then you have to spend more money and then have a bunch of parts sitting around you can't use anymore. But they didn't just stop with the internals. Instead of leaving you with the stock scope mount on most of these sniper rifles, which is pretty pathetic, they went with this custom machined in the USA super long upper rail so you can put anything you could dream on to the rifle. It's actually will handle optics like you see here. You can put your camera if you guys are into kill cams. Anything will fit on here. In fact, you can even move your optic forward and put some night vision behind it. So really, you have a ton of real estate, which is something you don't normally get on a sniper rifle platform. And before you get worried that this big old metal rail is going to weigh things down, it isn't because it's machined to the US from aluminum. It really doesn't add that much weight at all to the rifle, making this extremely balanced and very easy to manage on the field. Now, once we took it to Chrono, we had even more respect for the G700, clocking in at right around 545 feet per second on 0.2 gram Airsoft GI BBs. This thing really hits the top end of what most outdoor fields are gonna allow, but also keeps you in range for most of the national Milsim events. So this thing's pretty much good to go unless you have a smaller field and they do restrict sniper limits. Now, after a few 100 foot shots to sight in the target on our True Glow 4x32 scope, we took it out to a game to see if this thing really can hold up to all the parts that are under the hood. So we went out to our local field, Bad Karma Airsoft, here in Nashville, Tennessee, and we were blown away with their performance. We actually started some CQB games, but we actually made sure we stayed outside that 100-foot minimum engagement distance, which is required there at the field, and we loaded up the 25-round magazine with some 0.32-gram Milson Max BBs from Elite Force, and we were nailing targets at 175 feet. As soon as somebody would pop out of cover, I could take a shot, and I would get it, and it was fantastic. And when I moved up to the second floor of a building, and a Later game, I was able to even pull off a 235 foot shot straight on the target, first pull, and that is really impressive considering I haven't played with a sniper rifle oh, in a game oh, in probably him. four or even five years. So that's just a testament as how accurate this is. Once you dial the whole system in, you can really hit what you're aiming at. So needless to say, I really enjoy the G700 series rifle, and I kind of got that sniper bug again after getting out there and having a chance to play with it. The only downside to this whole thing is because of the stiff spring, it can be a bit of a challenge to pull the bolt back that if you really haven't used a upgraded sniper rifle and you're used to stock ones, this could be a bit of a challenge. Now there is a trick to it too, I'll show you guys. A lot of people try to cock it like this and they have a problem with it. If you actually shoulder the rifle and use your shoulder as a brace, put your thumb on the back of the bolt and then hold it, it's a lot easier to draw it back and fire. And I wasn't having any issues with this. For me, Trust me, look at me guys, I don't bodybuild or lift, and it's super easy for me to pull back, but just keep in mind, if you're maybe a younger player and you haven't really experienced the stronger pullback on a upgraded sniper rifle, it may be something you wanna try out before you make the investment. So if you've been wanting to break in the sniper game, but have been hesitant due to the high cost of entry, or if you have a sniper rifle and you just really don't wanna get into the whole upgraded knowledge required to turn one of these up to this level, check out the G700 series from Airsoft GI, and you can pick it up for actually a wallet-friendly $265 US.